May 19th, 2023. to do Jesus said if you've seen me you've seen my father also for I only do what my father has said and Jesus went around doing good to all that were far away from Jesus. And they started shouting, Son of David! Son of David! Say the word so we can be healed of this leprosy! Everybody was trying to silence them. Be quiet! Jesus is walking today! He doesn't want to be bothered! Jesus said, get out of my way. Don't you see my sons are over here with leprosy? I came to heal them. I came to do the will of my father. You better step aside. So, Jesus said, be healed to all the lepers. And he said, there's eight of you. But one of them, just one out of the eight, it was actually nine, nine. One, only one came back to Jesus. He was totally healed of leprosy. What would you do if you were totally healed and restored today? What would you do if Jesus is who he says that he is? What would happen to you today? If he supplies all your need according to his riches in Christ Jesus, what would you do if he's your healer? What would you do if he's your restorer? What would you do if he's your chain breaker and devil caster out of what would you do today? This man, one man, he came back to Jesus. And he bowed down before Jesus and he worshipped him. He worshipped him. He gave him the sacrifice of praise. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done. You're a good father. You're a good God, and I love you. But he was telling him. So, he is, so now, you know what the Lord said to the man? He said, Aren't, weren't there nine of you with leprosy? But why is there only one? Why is there only one that came here to thank me for healing him? Where are the others? Where did they go? Where did they go?
And Jesus said to the man with leprosy, he said, you are made whole. See? You see? Jesus has come to hold you and love you. He's not asking for anything. He wants your heart. He does. He wants you. He doesn't. He wants to hold you. Like this. He wants. He wants to tell you that he cares about you. And that you're all that he thinks about. And that true love is this. True love is when you look in the eyes of the one who made you. And he tells you who you are. when he speaks to you and all everything comes together some questions. He wants to ask you just a few questions. And you can just think about it in your heart. Because you know where you are right now. He wants to ask you something. What you're doing making you happy? When you do something that's wrong, do you feel bad about yourself? Did you see me? And I didn't let that car hit you that day? Did you know that was me? Did you know that was me? That got you home safe? Do you know that it's been me all along? That it's protected you?
will be better, far greater than your former you. Be strong and courageous and of great courage. For it's I who goes before you. You're going to see me. You're going to have dreams. And Malachi, it says, your old man are going to have visions and dreams. And my handmaiden. You're going to see me for who I am. And when you wake up, it's, it's, it's not like you were dreaming. I took you to heaven. I took you right where I am. And you woke up, and all of a sudden, you don't have any more worries. That's how it's going to be. Like the Lord said, I believe it. He never lied to me. Thank you for never lying to me, Lord. I wouldn't have served you if, if you ever did. That would be contradictory. It? He's a man of his word. He stands on it. Everything holds together by the word of God. Everything. We're his substance. We're his substance. We're his substance made. I declare it, I decree. That America will be safe. I declare it, I decree. That America will be free of me. I declare it, I decree. That this will be a generation that knows the Lord. And who follows after righteousness. This is a generation, my God. That they will see me for as I am. So they will be in this earth. They're my hands and my feet. 